says six hours in the NICU left her baby with injuries and incredible pain. We want to warn you it is necessary to show pictures of the injuries her baby girl suffered and some of you may find them disturbing. Arabella Coronal came into this world on December 28th, weighing 10 pounds. Basically, told me she had a really fast breathing. Joanna says Mercy Hospital in Council Bluffs took her baby girl to the NICU. And I called to check on her. Um, the nurses said she was fine. They told me they would bring her to the room like around 1130. They brought her back at 1. And when they brought her back, her foot was just wrapped up. Joanna says she asked, what happened? They said it was a tape allergy. But later that night when the gauze came off, this is how Arabella's foot looked. This picture was taken when Joanna first saw it. And a new nurse came in. She unwrapped it to see it. And she's like, whoa, this is really bad. And her expression kind of scared me. Joanna called her mom. My mom did everything she could to like try to find out. They kept the story of the tape. Joanna says the hospital sent her home with some cream. She tried it, but says her baby's foot wasn't getting any better, as you can see in these pictures she took. She took Arabella to another hospital to get checked out. And they said it was an IV infiltration, that the medication that was put through the IV is what caused the burn. Joanna gave us copies of Arabella's records from CHI Health for Mercy Hospital. First, it lists Arabella Coronal in parts of the record and Ava Bella Coronal in other parts. Joanna says she asked them to correct the name issue. The records also state the left foot IV infiltrated and caused a moderate wound. Again, Joanna says the hospital never told her it was an IV infiltration, despite what the records state. It was the tape that it was a really bad allergy that she had to it. Her daughter is now being treated by a plastic surgeon at another hospital. She's not allergic to tape. They said there's no possibility that's a tape allergy, that that's an IV infiltration. And right now, they're just waiting for the scab to come off Arabella's foot. This will let them know if she will have to go through surgery. We're hoping there's no skin graft. Joanna says she was told the spot on her foot where this happened has nerve damage, and her baby will most likely never feel that area. As they wait to find out, she says she is speaking out to warn others. Obviously, I'm frustrated and I'm mad, but there's nothing I can do to go back to fix what happened. Now, Joanna told Mallory that she filed a formal complaint with Mercy Hospital, and we reached out to them. They declined to go on camera, but issued the statement to us. CHI Health takes all patient concerns very seriously. We have teams that work with families to investigate issues and try to resolve them. The first step is an internal review, which is ongoing at this time. Then we work with families for resolution. We cannot comment publicly until we feel confident those steps have been completed.